Here we are, start of day three. Uh, Biggie, 84 miles and over 5,500 feet of climbing today. We go over part of the Tour de France route when it was started here uh, in Yorkshire a few years ago. So uh, a few tired legs. My uh, Garmin uh, is telling me that I need to rest for three days. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but I actually feel okay. And uh, at the moment, it's not raining, and we could get away with it today. Let's see. Right then, the grand depart. <laughs> to ride through Harrogate with hardly any traffic. I think this was the only time in four days breakaway Phil was behind me. I'm sure a farmer would tell us if most of the sheep are sitting down that that means something weather-wise. <laughs> it means they're tired, yeah. <laughs> and he couldn't hold back any longer. Breakaway made a breakaway. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> You have a lot of shots of um, and everybody's arse at basically. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got an arse fetish basically. Yeah, well, that's fair. <laughs> We'd seen a few serious speedsters on the road, obviously part of this event, and I think Graham was quietly drawing some inspiration from them. <laughs> Where there's a down, there's an up. So here in Yorkshire you get the, the hills and the dales, but you also, when you're up high, get these long stretches of uh, quite bleak looking landscape, but bleak in a kind of beautiful way, and you see You've got farmhouses and the old stove just down there in the dip. Yes, it's quite a landscape. There's an ice cream van. Even Clive wouldn't buy one today in this. Roller coaster! Hey. Nibbles Bridge. We came up here yesterday in pouring rain. What a difference a day makes. And what's not to like? The sun is coming out. The world is a wonderful place today. Yorkshire, God's country at its finest. Curly up above them as well, making the noise. Lovely. Yeah, beautiful. Hang on, Rachel, stop. Oh, how beautiful is that? Right above us. With the roads dried out, you can see the descent to Dibbles Bridge was less cagey, shall we say, than yesterday. Hey, 
This is a typical site here. The mum and the lamb. Something's come between us. <laughs> Came the long way. Hello, oh, mate. After the umbrella hat yesterday, Judith didn't disappoint and sported a neat white chef's hat today. See you in 23 miles, chef. I'm embarrassed to confess to humming a Spice Girls tune there. Oh, beautiful horses, look at those. Wow. Were well, they good? It's only this short bit. It flattens out here. Oh, beautiful. A quick photo opportunity and take in some essential cycling fuel. So we'd have a look around Tuck Village. Yeah, very hilly probably. Blimey. No patience. Right now, going past that. Definite tough one, this. This is where the number of layers you're wearing feels like too many. Let's come to the end. What a welcome sight. What a welcome sight. <laughs> Just another 10 yards and you're there, matey. Yes, come on up. Chocolate. The final push. Go, go, go. Whee. 
what a glorious achievement you thought of. So that was a toughie. Yeah. Go on, Mick, just think of the cramp you're going to have at the top. Yes, well done, guys. 20 yards, 20 yards. Oh, well done. Go on, Rachel, 20 yards. You can zigzag, there's nothing coming in if you need to. Come on, Brucey, that's it. Well done. You should scoop it. That was a great effort all round. What goes up must come down, as they say, and fast. And down by the river, the sun is shining again. Pedals for about two miles. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Memento of the Tour de France stage. I don't think it was left there by a crashed participant. Lunch is served. A feature of this tour were the lunches of sandwiches and delicious hot soup. And here was no exception with this spicy bowlful. Tour of the Yorkshire Dales, day three, lunchtime report, and oh my God, the sun is out. Started off grey, but dry after yesterday's deluge. And it's been the most wonderful mornings cycling ever. Really good. We've done 46 miles, so we're about halfway. And I could go all day. It really is fantastic up here. The hills, the curlews doing their curlew noises at the top of the dales. Just stunning. And... Uh, yeah, Bill Ross, News at 10, somewhere in Yorkshire. Day three, part three. Another grand looking bridge. Yeah. I'm sure I've cracked this one before, but what a load of shit. Smells like it too. <laughs> what a glorious day it's turned out to be. The town phonetically is Masham, although locals pronounce it Matsum. Two breweries are based here, Theakston's and Black Sheep. Part of the brewing process involves the milled grain being mixed with heated water in a mash tun. So what do these two breweries do with the grain? They mash them in Masham. A coincidence probably lost on the rest of the group, no doubt. A legacy of my former work in life, I guess. Such a shame. The rain has come down with a vengeance now. Another lovely hill. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there's more 
this when you thought it was finished. the rain stopped again <laughs> so the rain jackets come off because I was beginning to feel a bit like a boil in the bag chicken bit of a brute coming bit of a brute Was this a surprise? Whoa, that hit 21%. <laughs> me. Wow. Thank God for that. Good thing is about hills is when you get to the top. Is this just a social visit? And I saw the hill and I thought I'm yeah. stopping. I'm stopping. Yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure everybody's okay. But well done, you guys, for getting that up there. That was a 21% that. Oh, that was a shocker, wasn't That's it? That's a bit cheeky. But when oh. I saw the 20% down. Yeah, yeah, I thought I'd miss the 20% up somewhere. This looks like a good like steep valley to me. Exactly. So I'm just here to check everything. And she feels like you could go on longer, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's good, isn't it? I'm really feeling good. <laughs> yeah, when I woke up, I thought, oh my God, this is going to be hard today. <laughs> is it already your longest ride ever now? <laughs> well done, mate. Yeah, you can see it go up the other side, look. So it's down into the dip and then up the other side again. It always looks more fearsome from a distance, doesn't it? <laughs> oh well, it's fairly pleasant traffic free breeze to the finish. The 14th century Ripley Castle's owner, Sir William Ingleby, was a royalist supporter in the Civil War and had to hide in a priest hole when Cromwell passed by and claimed it for his own for a short stay. Modern Airbnb is so much more civilised. <laughs> All right. And on the church, the other side of the church, there's the bullet holes in the wall where royalist prisoners were executed. Oh, right, wow. wow. We finished by cycling past reminders of when the Tour de France passed through, including Le Monument. Ian did his best Superman impression to show he was wearing the comedy jersey. And that evening, the lucky recipient to wear it on the last day was Graham, who was suitably unimpressed at the prospect of having to launder it without the reward of passing it on next day. The reason given by Ian was after missing the afternoon T-van stop, showing his inability for using his Garmin technology, it made me look good or not so useless when using mine in the eyes of Karen. Good job Clive was ineligible as a pass winner to be awarded it again then. The Yorkshire Dales shone in their own glory on day three of our tour and a great day cycling was had by all. 
click on the yellow icon to subscribe to the channel. There are more videos to watch on the right here. Happy cycling and see you on the day four video.